Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are here to do something a little bit different. I am going to get ready with you today, but I kind of wanted to do this video in honor of Mel Thompson because she did have such a huge impact in the beauty community. So I wanted to pull out my Tiny Marvels palette. I wanted to create a look. I have created several looks with this palette on my YouTube. One of the first videos that I ever did with this palette was actually recreating a look that Mel did on her channel. So I thought, you know, with her passing, I have seen so many like beautiful videos go up in honor of Mel in, in tribute to her and I wanted to do the same. So that is what we are here to do. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking. I love makeup. I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the Kate Bella fam. But right now I'm going to zoom you in and we will get started. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to jump into the video. I don't know what look I'm going to create yet, but I'm going to prime my eyes with the Fenty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer, and I just wanted to talk a little bit in this video about Mel. I did not know her personally at all. I don't think we had ever had a conversation, but I know people who do know her personally, or I, I shouldn't say no, I'm familiar with people who do know her personally, and I have followed her for several years. I don't know that I knew of her before my YouTube days. I started filming at the end of 2015, and I'm not quite sure at what point she started filming. So I don't think she was someone that I watched before my channel, but I've definitely been watching her for several years. And one thing I loved about Mel is I felt like she was a very good teacher. She had this amazing way of teaching people how to apply their makeup. Now also, just a little side note, I don't have a shade that I can set my eye primer with and I do feel like I need to set my eye primer so I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll come back. Okay so I'm going to go in with this light shade right here in Tree Hopper, this light brown with my BK201 but as I was saying one thing that I loved about Mel was how creative she was. I mean she definitely was an artist. I loved watching her videos but even more than watching her videos I felt like they were super helpful. I don't find myself to be a very creative person. I am not really someone who's able to like look at a palette right away and know what looks I want to create or know what colors go together. You know, I'm just, I'm a teacher. I'm not in the arts. I'm not, I just love to play with makeup. I don't find myself to be very creative, but Mel was definitely very creative. I loved the looks that she came up with but I felt like she was easy to follow. She definitely had this, this teacher side to her where she could really walk you through what she was doing with her makeup and that's one of the reasons why I loved to watch her. You know, my channel is definitely based more on talking and not so much tutorials because I don't think that's my strong suit, but I definitely love to watch tutorials. I love to watch people put their makeup on. I always have. I used to watch my sister put her makeup on. And so I loved watching Mel's videos and I loved watching her apply makeup. It was so calming and she just created some really amazing looks. And so me personally, you know, I'm really thankful and I'm happy to hear that you know, her husband wants to keep her channel up so that those videos are still there. Those videos are, are I don't want to say always because I don't know, you know, if they'll always be there. I don't, I don't know if at some point, you know, the family may decide to take those videos down. But at least for now, we still have a piece of Mel and we still have her artistry left behind. And, you know, I mentioned I didn't know her personally. I never had any interactions with her. But... When I got her Tiny Marvels palette and I started playing with looks and creating looks, I would post those looks to Instagram. 
and I would tag her. You know, anytime I use a creator's palette, I like to tag them because I imagine that, okay, I'm trying to decide what to do here. Hold on one second. Okay, I think I'm changing course in what I was originally going to do. So I'm gonna go into Death Moth down here. I would create these looks with the Sydney Grace palette and I would tag Sydney Grace and I would tag Mel and one thing that did not go unnoticed was the fact that Mel would always like my posts. She would always heart them. I knew that she saw the looks that I created and she took the time to heart them. And that's something where, you know, anytime a larger influencer takes the time to comment back, respond to a DM, or even take the time to like a post, I always appreciate that because I am aware of the fact that the larger the following, the more tags they get, the more comments they get, the more interaction they're getting. And, you know, I imagine that can be hard to keep up with, but even knowing now that she was struggling with her health and she had so much going on behind the scenes, she still took the time to look at my post and to heart it. You know, it's it's easy just to look through your, I don't know what they are, mentions section and scroll through and kind of see what people are posting and, and tagging you in, but to actually take the time to respond to that. That was something that did not go unnoticed, especially because I am such a smaller content creator with such a smaller following, just to know that she took the time on days, maybe when she wasn't feeling well, when she was tired or in physical pain, that she took the time to look at my post and respond to it. And, you know, I think that that speaks a lot because there are a lot of creators who just have, you know, like I said, the larger following, I'm sure the harder it is to keep up. And there are a lot of creators where I have no doubt that they are looking at posts and excited to see what people are doing, but they don't always have the time or the ability to comment back. And I really appreciated that about Mel. I appreciated her artistry. I appreciated her creativity, but I also appreciated the fact that she took time to appreciate the work of other artists. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this spider shade and my BK207 to put that in the outer part of my eye. You know, if you have not had a chance to see Kelsey Brianna J's video in honor of Mel, I will link that down below. I definitely think it was such a beautiful, like, honest, genuine, video for Mel and I watched the whole thing and I am one of those people who will cry if you cry so so I cried with Kelsey in that video but you can see how beautiful her friendship was with Mel and you know it can be hard to find true genuine friendships in this life and I feel like we may only ever have a handful of those in our lifetime, friendships like that. And I think it's truly a beautiful thing. And so my heart goes out to Mel's family and to Kelsey. But, you know, I wanted to point out Kelsey's video because in there, she talks about the GoFundMe that she created for Mel's family, for her husband. And I did donate to the GoFundMe, but I almost didn't. And I wanted to share why, because, you know, I went on there to donate after I saw that one brand had donated $10,000, and then I'm scrolling, and I'm seeing people donating hundreds of dollars, and I, I do not have that ability. And so in that moment, I almost didn't, because I thought, I can't match that. I, I can't... I can't donate that amount. And then I thought, you know what? I feel like a lot of people maybe feel that way. This is my BK202 with no extra product, but I feel like a lot of people may get discouraged and say, you know what? I only have 
five, ten dollars to donate, fifteen, twenty dollars to donate. I only have five dollars. What is that worth? And I thought, you know, if if ten people have five dollars to donate, that's fifty dollars. You know, if a hundred people have five dollars to donate, that's five hundred dollars. And so you know, in that moment, I decided to donate, even if it wasn't hundreds of dollars, because I wanted to support this family who was grieving and, you know, they are losing someone that they loved so much, even if it meant I wasn't able to donate a lot, I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to be a part of the good. So I just wanted to take the time, if you, you know, are wanting to donate, but you're feeling a little discouraged because you don't have the hundreds of dollars to donate, you know, even just your prayers, I feel, are appreciated by the family. But, you know, even if it's $5, even if it's $10, a little bit goes a long way. And, you know, I know that we don't know all of Mel's health struggles that she went through. We don't know what her and her family had to endure. But I do know that she was open about spending time in and out of the hospital and I'm sure that they you know are burdened with medical costs and things like that so if I could be a part of the healing I definitely wanted to do that because I feel like Mel did share so much of her life on YouTube that I just wanted to I wanted to give back in any way that I could. I'm going to take one of my favorite shades, not just in the palette, but of life, Fire Butts, and I'm going to use that all over my lid with my BK203. This shade is so beautiful. I feel like this is a shade that I was like always chasing, that like beautiful green gold, and I don't have anything else like it in my collection. I am a neutral lover, but I'm always drawn to these green shades. And this shade is just, you know, just like Mel, it is something special. So we're going to make this the star of the show. I've probably created this look on my channel before, but this video isn't necessarily about creating <laughs> a new look, but just honoring Mel. I'm gonna take my Sigma Pencil E30 and probably go in with um, probably a mixture of death moth and tree hopper back and forth and just tap a bit off put that right under the lower lash line I'll probably build it up go back and forth a little bit you know I mentioned that I did not know Mel personally and you know one might think what's the big deal in making a YouTube video but for the people who did know her like Tara Lynn and Kelsey Chelsea you know they talked about how much Mel loved YouTube so I thought you know what this may be a small gesture a small token of my appreciation for the legacy she's leaving behind but I just wanted to do something that I thought Mel would enjoy in her honor. Okay, so I actually thought I was filming and I wasn't. <laughs> I took Webb. Webb is a beautiful inner corner pop. If you are not new here, you know I love an inner corner pop. And I like to just put a little bit on my finger and press it right there on the inner corner. But I am going to jump off. I'm going to pick a lip and do some mascara and we will come back to close out the video. Okay, so here is the finished look. I did go in with MAC Strip Down and my Lisa Aldridge Velvet Muse lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you out and we will wrap up this video. Okay, so I just wanted to close by saying, you know, I um, lost a friend tragically, unexpectedly in June. I just had a very close friend of mine lose a parent unexpectedly, tragically, a few weeks ago and I know Mel's passing was very um, unexpected to a lot of us and I feel like I personally in those situations don't know what to say or do. I feel like I kind of freeze up because I know that 
nothing I say or do will bring that person back or make the other party feel any better. But I thought, you know, I keep hearing people say that Mel loved YouTube so much. And, you know, if there is a chance that her friends or family find my video or if you are watching my video and you're a follower of hers and you love the Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette and you loved Mel, you know, I just wanted to make this video to honor her and to say that for those of you who are hurting, I am praying for you and praying for your loss and hopefully this video, however small it may be, can just be an honor to Mel, a piece a piece of her legacy left behind. So we are going to go ahead and close it there. Um, if you did know Mel or if you lost a loved one and you want to share a happy memory down below, let's, let's go ahead and do that. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.